Good morning. Oh, hey, Jenna. Uh, hey, Peter. How are you? Hey, Jenna. Did you know you're our November 2011 2013. member profile? I did, and that's awesome. Well, what made you think about CrossFit, and how did you find CrossFit? You know, that's a really great question. Oh, Peter. Uh, I actually decided to start doing CrossFit after my coworker, Eric, just kept talking about it over and over, and I had actually just gotten certified in another uh, workout regimen, and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, you got to come to CrossFit, and when I decided that, you know what, Prancercising probably isn't going to go very far, I decided to uh, give CrossFit a shot. Well, let's take a closer look at how CrossFit has affected your life since you started. Hey, Jenna. Hey, so, Peter. how long have you been doing CrossFit for now? Oh, gosh. Um, I started CrossFit right around March 2012. And when you came to CrossFit... What was some of your intimidation factors? I mean, you said you weren't sure and your coworker wouldn't stop talking about it. I was really nervous because I couldn't do a single pull-up when I started. And how many can you do now? Well, I tell you, the pull-up program has really helped. I've really seen an increase in my strength. I went from the green band to the blue band to no band to one arm. So what, are your summer, what is your favorite CrossFit movement? My favorite CrossFit movement is uh, probably handstand push-ups. I like being upside down. And what's your least favorite? Anything to do with running. But even though you hate running, have you seen improvements in your running since you joined CrossFit? I have. I've definitely uh, dropped my mile, I think, by a minute or two. When someone else is thinking about joining CrossFit and they're not sure about why they would want to join, what's something you would tell them about it? I would tell them that Give it a chance, not to be scared. My mom at age 65, just turned 66, happy birthday mom. She just started CrossFit and she's loving it. It's for any age and any ability. So, so many people feel that CrossFit can be very intimidating in their life but also require a lot of equipment. I mean, what are you doing here? What are these that you're using? So these are my new lift shoes. I decided that um, health and just becoming fitter are more important than a uh, closet full of high shoes. Well, I mean, these definitely have a heel on them. What do you expect them to do for you? So these lift shoes help with stability during some pretty heavy lifts. And since I've, um, I'm getting ready to try to max out my snatch, I really wanted some um, good shoes to protect my ankles and hold me steady. So although you're the member of the month and you're doing these big lifts, someone that's new shouldn't be intimidated by these type of things, should they? Oh, absolutely not. When I started, I started just using the barbell. And that's fine. You really want to learn your technique first because the technique will stick with you forever and you'll be able to add weight as soon as you get that technique down. Well, let's see some of your lifts. Right. Man, Jenna, that was a great lifting session. Those new shoes really seem to help you a lot. Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah, I'm pretty proud. That's uh, definitely a PR. Well, so obviously the community means a lot to you. You have a very vocal voice in it. But how has it affected your personal life and what do you think that it's helped you feel more confident about? You know, those are great questions, Peter. Um, I feel like I have a lot of more energy for my friends, and uh, I feel like just having more energy makes us be able to bond better, I have more time for them, it feels like, and I really feel like I'm creating deeper connections. Yeah, well, maybe we should ask some of your friends just about how that's affecting your social life. Okay. Oh, look, Jenny, <laughs> longtime friend of Jenna. What do you think? Do you think Jenna's become a better person since she started CrossFit? More time, she says? Really? <laughs> going to yoga every night, she's doing 5.45 a.m. classes, she's got to be up so early, she's in bed by like 7 p.m., so we get to do nothing anymore. I mean, I love CrossFit. So, you just practicing your handstand push-ups now, huh? That's right. Does that help when you have brainstorming sessions at work? <laughs> I don't know about the handstand push-ups, but definitely getting to class at 5.45, I feel like, you know, I get focused and have a lot of energy for the day. So, your energy for the day, you go straight to work after this, don't you? Uh, I do, shower up and head right in. What do your coworkers think at work? Do they think that you're crazy or do they think that you've been better and more on the ball? Yeah, definitely better. I've probably, if you ask any of them, I'm sure they're going to say I'm pretty awesome. So you think you've increased the bottom line since you started CrossFit, huh? Oh, absolutely. Well, let's ask them what they think about that. Oh, hey, Eric. Oh, hey. I heard you're the one that got uh, Jenna to start CrossFit. Yeah, I did. I recommended it to her. She said you wouldn't stop talking about it? Yeah, there's not a day that goes by that I wish I hadn't recommended it to her. Meetings start with three, two, one, go. I don't understand it. We're all trying to brainstorm, and there's no such thing as a bad idea in brainstorming, but Jenna keeps yelling, no rep, no rep. Every time there's an idea she doesn't like, wait, she's not going to see this, is she? So has her productive, productivity increased or decreased since she started CrossFit? She's just high energy all the time. I can't, 
I can't keep up with it. I mean, I've got work. I get in at 6 a.m. I'm there till 6 p.m. just to keep up with Jenna's demands. It's but there's rumors around the office that I've heard late recently that there's a pillow and blanket underneath her desk. Does she take naps in the middle of the day? I mean, she does have a door on her office, and it is locked a lot. I'm not saying she is. I'm not saying she isn't, but there's that rumor going around. Well, hopefully her productivity increases because she keeps doing CrossFit. Oh, hey, Jenna, are you taking a nap again? Oh, hey, no, I'm just, you know, hanging out trying to get a new PR in my uh, handstand. I think you literally just did, by the way. <laughs> Probably. So... In some closing remarks, Jenna, I mean, you started CrossFit, you were a little bit intimidated, but you decided to stick it out. What was kind of the deciding factor to make you stick it out for the long run? You know, uh, honestly, the community and the friendships here, it makes me want to come back. I want to see these people, and I, I want to see them improve, and I want to improve, and it's measurable, it's scalable. Um, I, I just love it. I, I feel like it's not like those paid athletes that, you know, just do it because... Because they're paid to, I mean, you know, doing that's just, that's just sad.